Hello, everyone, and welcome to I Remember This Dream, a survival horror game that a number of you have suggested, and the only thing I know about it is that it takes place on a dark night in a cold and snowy forest. Now, I mentioned in my Frozen Winter video that I feel like snowy environments are an overlooked setting for horror. The calmness of a still, cool night along with the terror as your cheeks burn from the cold and you feel the branches whipping across your face as you run. Let's begin. Hmm. It seems like we begin our journey in a clearing in the middle of the forest. But who are we and what are we even doing out here? I've already been here. You've already been here. I now see this dream every night. So you've dreamt about this place, hence the title. And now suddenly you find yourself here. And every night has become a real nightmare for me webbed from intertwined tree branches stretching out into the dark, endless sky. I don't want to fall in the river. I'd freeze very, very quickly. I think I just heard a twig snap behind me. Is there something out here with me? There are very few sounds in this world. But there is this one that scares me the most. The sound of bells ringing from far away, leading me through the maze of this nightmare. Oh, so I don't think it really matters how I got here, because I believe I'm playing the dream itself. Uh, it says... It says this protagonist hears the sounds of the bells leading them through this forest. I don't think I've heard any bells yet, but I've certainly heard what sounds like something creeping up behind me. I've heard the sounds of snapping branches and footsteps that seem to continue in the snow until just a little bit longer than after I've stopped walking. I need to find a way to cross this river. I don't know if that's going to happen every time. Every time I stop, I feel like it continues for just a little bit to... That's not me. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. Huh. Wait. I think there was something over there. I could have sworn I saw a shadow through the trees over that way, but I, I just can't be sure. Oh, this is really, really capturing what it's like to walk through the snow at night because I, the sound of footsteps is also the sound of literally anything else that could be happening around you. Is there someone following you? Did you see something when you turned around? And it's at that perfect hour where you can still kind of see, but everything is so low contrast that your eyes have a hard time adjusting. You can't tell one object from another. Which means that you can't tell a person from a tree. Alright, there's a specific bit of lingering sound that I think is just taking a little bit longer after I stop. But there's always the snapping of branches that I don't think could be me. That doesn't seem to be tied to anything that I'm doing. Maybe it's better to be in amongst the trees, because whatever's out there can't see me. But then again, I can't see it either. Ah, oh, these footsteps are really bothering me. As I was saying before, you can actually tell from the sounds, like, how densely packed the snow is. It is at approximately an Italian ice level of crunchiness.
still haven't found a way around this river. But I hope that by just hugging the side of it, by hugging the bank, I'll be able to maintain some sense of direction. The forest is thinning out over here. You know, uh, stop it, phone. I don't need this right now. Uh, you know, the developer could actually really screw with me this way because even though I haven't actually seen any kind of danger yet, the Game Jolt page describes it as a survival horror game. I'm going to be on my toes this entire time. I, I mean, maybe I can... Maybe I can cross the river on my own. Maybe it's frozen, but should I risk that? I think I'm just going to continue following a ways, and we'll see where that takes me. I still haven't heard those... bells. I thought it was going silent, but I think that was just the soundtrack looping. No. Look, you can see the water moving. It's not frozen at all. That mass of trees looks more like an ominous shadow. Look how it all melds together. That was something, that was something, that was something, that was something. Oh, I do not like that I can't crouch. I do have the ability to sprint. I think I'll have to... I, I think I'm going to have to run at some point. God, this game hasn't even done anything yet, and it's freaking me out. It's just from the descriptor that it's a survival horror game. Alright. I've been relying on sound. I think I need to start relying more on sight, as difficult as that is. Sound doesn't help me at all right now. I keep thinking I see things moving, but there's a little bit of a shudder to the... To the objects in the distance, to the graphics as a whole. It makes it so hard to discern details, and details are what I need if there's something following me. I wish I knew what, if anything, I was hiding from. Something's just loaded! It's an old dock and the remains of some ruined boats. Can I cross over here? No, no such luck. There's definitely something out there. I I've heard the same sound so many times that I'm actually starting to kind of micro-analyze, like, the little tones and j just, just for subtle details that something might be different, indicating that something has actually entered the area and I'm going to have to run. You know, now that I think about it, this game is actually exploiting the gamer instinct when it comes to horror experiences. The experience of hearing a sound and going, is that actually a thing? Okay, I will say I'm a little bit not afraid of the sounds of snapping branches coming from my right, because on my right is a river. The right represents safety. Either that, or a wall to pin myself against, giving me nowhere to run. Okay, thus far, all this time, I've been following the river. I've not heard anything of those bells we were told about. Or maybe I should be paying more careful attention to the soundtrack. I haven't heard anything especially directional from the soundtrack, if that's what I'm meant to be listening for. Wait. That actually did sound like a bell. Yeah, 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 yeah. This way, I think. Oh, it's a good thing I'm wearing a pair of decent headphones. Otherwise, this just wouldn't be doable. I hope I don't end up having flashbacks to, uh... to that one segment where I had to find the gramophones and I'm scared. I'm also trying to keep, like, a mental arrow in my head pointing towards the river in case I need to regroup, but it, it, it'll be so easy to get lost. I, I feel more like I'm being lured than led. That's also
also remember to periodically check our surroundings. Because if I get too hyper-focused on the, uh, uh, on the sounds of the bell, I may become oblivious to the sound of some horrible creature sneaking up on me. Uh, I, I love how they've gone with this really deep, crunchy... I'm sorry, I've lost my direction. I love how they've gone with this deep, crunchy soundtrack, uh, sound effect for your footsteps. Because it's so loud, it becomes the only thing you can hear, and it makes you so aware of how you can't hear what's going on around you. Anytime you're in motion... Anytime you're in motion, anything around you can find exactly where you are, and you'll never know that it's creeping up on you. Perhaps I can use these trees to kind of shield myself from whatever's out here. I mean, if I have to run, I, I try to walk very fast, but at the same time, very carefully stepping on the stone in order not to disturb the surrounding silence. Wait. It would seem that in order to make, make it not look so horrible, one should make noise as much as possible. Shout, laugh, and talk with yourself, but the sound of your own voice may drown out other sounds. The sound of a barely heard imminent threat and fear. Hiding in tree shadows. Wait. I, I think it is getting darker, but have I just been led back to where I started? Where's that bell coming from? Also, leave the commentary to me, game. I've said all that already. Anyway, as I was saying, I wonder if this is just the premise for a game? Or if this is actually based on a creator's dream? Uh, listening attentively to the squeaky sound of the snow under my feet as I walked, I could barely breathe. And only prayed not to hear footsteps behind me. I've been hearing footsteps the entire time. You ever have those moments where you become so tense that after a while you realize you've been holding your breath? I now remember everything. The snow, the forest, the blistering cold. But I know that once I wake up, this cold world would immediately disappear from my memory. Something was coming towards me just there. You saw it, right? I know I saw it. That wasn't just that wasn't just the flickering of the gra the graphics. And uh, now I'm yelling and now I can't hear the bell. Shelter. Shelter, shelter, shelter. Oh, my heart is pounding. This game is doing a whole lot with very, very little. Can I enter? The bell coming from inside? Uh, the soundtracks decided to leave me on, on my own, but it's so dark in there. But what's out here is worse. Uh, wait. Ah! What was that? Oh no, it's coming around to the door. No. No, 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 no. This place is not just a figment of my imagination. I've been here in real life. Oh no! Wait. Oh, I'm standing in the same spot. Yeah, I, I can't see a thing. It's so dark. Uh, where did it go? Oh, great. We've been given another objective. What was that thing? It didn't look like a person, but it stood upright like one. Okay, I think I have to head this way. I think it really is getting much darker now. 
the change has been slow. Uh, I'm not sure if it's tied to progression or an actual day-night cycle. Well, presumably not a cycle, just a timer. I can't remember everything. Dreams and reality don't intersect. You only see the dream world while dreaming, but it's all different in the real world. What does that mean? Something's out there. No, it's you, it's you, 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 you. Okay, I have to really pay attention to know when you're near. But how do I know when I've escaped? Only some snatches of my memory, which in some way passed through the boundary between dream and reality, give me confidence that I'm in a dream. That's true. In a dream, sometimes I become aware of it by just realizing that some rule, some factor of reality that I know to be true isn't consistent. There are small snatches of my memory from the past. I really have to keep an ear out now. Right. No 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 I think I have only limited sprint. I was twelve then and studied in seventh class. The regional school was located very far from the village where I lived with my parents. It was some hours walk to the school. Both ways in the snow? There you are, there you are, there you are, there you are. Just some indescribable blackness chasing me through the forest. Oh, I love how they've integrated the sound of my footsteps with gameplay. There it is. There it is, there it is, there it is. Every morning, my mom accompanied me through the woods to the school. She returned every morning to take, or every evening to take me back. I think this is my destination. So you had to walk through these woods to get to school. And you did so with your mother. As the years passed by, bringing me and taking me back from the school became increasingly difficult for Mom. Dad had to suggest that I stop school. But I insisted that I walk alone. Two graves. Were these here before? Two fresh graves. So presumably, these are the woods that this narrator used to walk through to get to school with his mom. But eventually, she wasn't able to make the trip anymore, and this narrator had to do it on their own. And I'm guessing something happened after that. What are those red shapes in the distance? I have a feeling whatever's following us is going to become harder and harder to avoid. I don't like... See, now that... Now that there's something following us... It's becoming more and more dangerous that when I stop, my footsteps linger for a moment. What is this in the trees? In the summer, my journey to the school didn't take long. Sometimes I was even given a lift by those driving to the city. Everything changed as winter approached! Days became shorter and the road became drowned in an impassable layer of snow. Was I caught? I can't move anymore. happening. The dream disappears, but always returns the next night. Did I lose? Is that the end, or did I lose? I 
Okay, the same thing is happening. There, there are checkpoints, thankfully. But... Yeah, I'm starting to think that I didn't... Yeah, I don't think I was caught by the beast. I think... Entering that area is what stopped me. Okay, so this time we'll have to avoid it. Alright, this time we'll be... Passing by the red sheets on the left. In the summer, my journey to the school didn't take long, blah blah blah. Days became shorter, and the road was drowned in an impassable layer of snow. Okay, it looks like there's more of these things throughout the forest. We'll have to avoid them. Everything... Sh wait, in winter, I was the only pupil always released by teachers in the middle of classes to leave so as to get home before it got dark. So this is the walk home from school, or at least your memory of such events. Something's out there. It's- ah! Oh, what are you? Uh, it's like each time, it's like each time there's a little bit more detail to you. And you're getting harder and harder to get away from. On the left. I wonder, can I lose you in the trees and... Does sprinting draw you to me even more? I just have to keep moving. There you are. Though the road was long, I was very familiar with it. In the summer, I often rode on my bicycle with my friends through the woods. But one evening in December, I lost my way while coming back from school. How well are you keeping up with me? Very well. This is stamina management, at this point. Oh, these woods are dead. And you're still after me. I'm exhausted. I must be getting closer to the sound of the bell, though. I don't quite remember how or why this happened, and where I turned the wrong way. But I noticed that treetops were recently lit with bright red lights in the setting sun. We were already drowned in the heavy, gloomy sky. Oh, I think I walked into one of these things. There's more than one. Either that or it changes direction every so often. Come on, come on, come on. I have, like, no sprint. There's another one of those... One of the, another one of those sheets. Still don't know what those are supposed to represent. All I know is that these things are right on my tail. Peering into the darkness in an attempt to see familiar places. I struggle to... Ugh. I struggle to drive away my, from myself. The frighteningly simple thought lodged in my mind. I'll never get out of this place. Yeah, that's what it's starting to feel like. I've never walked so far away from home. Stories by old men uh, were made, you know, there used to be a village abandoned by people years ago somewhere far away in the forest, and since then the village is completely abandoned. There we go. Where are you? Church, 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 church. Are you the bell that's been ringing? Let's go. Come on. How do I get in? How do I get in front? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And cutscene. Hopefully that means a checkpoint. We were never forbidden to go there, but my friends and I went so far from home we experienced a feeling of anxiety. At the boundary of an impenetrable thicket through which the sun could not even pass, we turned around, not saying a word to each other, and hurriedly went back. What was that? Hi! 
dream disappears, but always returns the next... I died? I don't think I... I don't think I was in control of that. Oh, please tell me I don't have to... Are you kidding me? All right, gotta be ready to run now. Gotta be ready to run following the jump scare. Hi. Right. Turn around and run out. Question is, where are we going? You don't seem to have followed me out. But what now? Another bell for me to follow, please? Another bell, any bell. Alright, I'm gonna try just walking out in the exact opposite direction of the doorway of the church. Like, let's say I just continued running and just went straight into the forest. Let's put it that way. Was that a bell? I just heard something. That way. Wait. Is there something around me? I heard something else as well. I'm gonna walk, conserve my stamina. This way. Now, is it just me, or does that bell sound a little different from before? Periodically check around to make sure we're not being followed. Yeah, that bell definitely sounds different. I'll never forget that house. The cemetery and church at the Forgotten Village where I tried to hide from the creepy creatures pursuing me. I don't remember how I managed to survive and get out of that dark forest. Many years have passed since then, but I still don't understand why this keeps appearing in my dreams. You're still after me. Come on. What? I've been here already. Come on, Bell. Come on, Bell. Bell, I really, really need you to keep shining so I know where you are. There he is. I'm almost at the border between sleep and waking. It was here that fear, which I always run away from, catches up with me. Everything is repeated again and again in these dreams. Come on, Bell. Come on, Bell. This way. I feel like at this point you can make, but not the pursuing darkness scares me the most. No, come on. I can't move. There you are. You're getting faster, I think. Where is it? Come on, I have to be close. I have to be close. I have to be. 
Waking up frightens me much more. That brief moment between dream and reality. The moment when nightmare is replaced, but it's... Nightmare is... Hang on, but it's still not forgotten, and you regain consciousness and not yet manage to escape the nightmare completely from your memory? Yeah, that, th th those are some words. Come on. I feel so much slower walking over these hills, although I don't know if I actually am or not. No! Uh, it's a river. I gotta cross the bridge. Come on. Make for the bridge with all your might. I was here already! That didn't sound good. Have I... Oh, a real Sleepy Hollow story here. Can't imagine it ends well, though. This is a different figure that's been stalking us. We've seen this a couple of times as well, it's distinct from the skeletal one. Hi. I close my eyes, and the, belliger the belligerent monster pounces on me. The disgusting munching sounds as the monster tore the flesh into shreds started waking me up. The night forest fades, and the pale morning light emerges. Then I'm enveloped in real fear, lying on my bed, afraid to open my eyes. The fear of the future shackles my mind in chains. The future that I don't even have. Where adult life is just an illusion. I'm 12 years old. Outside the window, heavy December clouds, blistering cold in the first snow. This is the first winter I'll be going to school alone. Lying in bed, I struggle to squeeze my eyes in a vain attempt to retain memories from my dream. I'm waking up, but I, sh I can't forget. I must not forget. I must not forget. So yeah, I'm not really sure what to make of that. It's almost like there's sort of a weird... Like a weird time loop thing going on, but also it's hard to determine what's literal and what isn't. Like, it's simultaneously a dream an adult is having about their childhood. And a dream that a child is having, or maybe it's even... After compl finally completing this recurring dream... The child wakes up and finds that not only the journey through the woods, but the entire life afterwards was also a dream. My, that was crazy. Now, I will say, like, you know, elephant in the room with this, that segment between the graveyard and the church was so irritating. I mean, I'm like an hour and 20 minutes into this record session. I'm sure I'm going to edit that down by quite a lot, but still, that really, really killed the mood for me in a lot of ways. Now, granted, it was really scary. I actually did like the chase mechanics because it, it was done in such a way where, when combined with how important the sounds were to gameplay... It actually had me looking around constantly, like, much of this game was just me walking through the woods, not being sure if I had heard something around me, and just looking around. And just sometimes, I would see that robed skeletal figure coming through the trees. I mean, it was a model that really, really interacted with the environment. Everything comes together in a very cohesive way, where everything's, every element sort of works off of every other element, so very much bravo in that department. Uh, one thing I really didn't like was that mechanic of the, like, insta-death blankets hanging in the trees, whatever they're supposed to be. I have no idea what they are, and they're just irritating. I mean, I guess the idea is to kind of break up my path, prevent me from just making a beeline towards my objective by forcing me to avoid certain areas. In practice, the way it played out most of the time was I'd be coming through some trees and would just instantly die before I'd even seen them. So that was really annoying. That one church segment really could have used a checkpoint. I mean, I feel like 80% of the problems I had with the gameplay could have been alleviated by just putting a checkpoint right there. And I'm not talking about after you escape. As soon as that cutscene ends, 
put a checkpoint right there because at that point, you know, I had been watching it the entire time. I was anticipating that that would actually be the end of the game, and so my hands were completely off the keyboard at that point. Other than that, though, it absolutely beautifully captured that sense of dreamlike dread. The sense of constantly being followed by something you don't even understand. Motivated by a goal you don't understand, but you just know you have to follow the sound of the bells. And all the while, different aspects of these familiar things making up the, the kind of skeleton of the experience. No pun intended. It's just that sense of being pursued, being so utterly unsafe, and trying to find shelter over and over again, but just every time you get there, you need to find a new place, and safety just becomes that much farther out of reach. If you want to try it out for yourself, of course, the link will be down below in the description. Uh, you can download this for free from Game Jolt. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other uh, videos you think I should do, the best place to do that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.